much the same way your emotions can be your own greatest enemy. Or under control, your emotions can make you healthier and happier and improve the lives of people around you. I think of fire in connection with emotions because when you become stirred up, when your emotions control your actions, it affects not only yourself, but the people around you. Psychologists find that control of emotions can be gained by understanding the stimulus response pattern. When you have certain experiences, you respond with various emotions. Stimulus response. Just as this sort of stimulus produces this sort of involuntary muscular response. Well, that's a rather simplified suggestion of a complex mental process. But you get the idea. Cause, effect. Nature endows us at birth with three general patterns of emotional response. Rage is the response to the primary stimulus of thought. Something interfering with our behavior, our action. Fear is the response to loud noises or loss of support. And the emotional response to love is usually the result of a show of affection or faithfulness. And these seem to be the emotions with which we start life. Then as we grow up, many everyday things and social situations become associated with these kinds of things, fostered by a process of conditions. And so many things become causes to respond to us. And in general, that's good. For there are many questions and forces that are And a balance of emotions.